This is also the warming up. It's just sitting warming up. And now do it in turn. In turn. And try to keep your neck relaxed. So this is an important part. So I don't want you to like this, you know, shrug it, but you want to keep this part relaxed because you're doing it with only those muscles. Yeah. So sounds maybe a bit weird, but you'll get it pretty soon why we do this. Okay. I'll give it you. Now, first the thing what we're going to do, uh, uh, lie down uh, your head here, please. So first what we're going, uh, we're going to do and what we're going to play around with is just the regular um, arm triangle. So first, without defense, I want you guys to relax. Eh? Play with somebody about your own size. Eh? Don't go too much in size difference right now, because first you have to do something on somebody, I always say your twin. Eh? First it has to, has to work on your twin, and then maybe you can make it get to work on your little brother, and maybe later you can get it to work on your big brother or sister. You understand? So that's first get somebody about your own size. So just get a regular, arm triangle and really feel the chill. I don't want you guys ripping up his neck or her neck. Very important. There are different ways to defend that. But first, today we'll do the choke. So first, find it and get the choke. Very simple. You've all probably all done it. So first, before I show you the defense, I want you to practice the choke again. So you really get the choke. Help your friend get the choke first. Yeah? Three, two, one. <laughs> Now, I was telling you in the beginning about the biomechanical aspect, aspect that like. So, if you look at this choke and at the defenses, I'd say 99% of, of you will, say, will think it's about this arm. It could be right, but look. If I fight this arm and he uh, picks up the phone or uh, he'll, he'll, he's got some other cool stuff he'll show you after this class. Huh? So now what's happening, he's fighting my weight huh? and he's fighting my power. Huh? And so he's, he's defending, if you look at it, he's defending only this part. Huh? So he, because a choke is nothing more than closing both arteries. So why is everybody defending this choke? This side. Nobody's defending this side. So, here, you can do it to me. Uh, you can, let's see, you can see if you can stand up, get up, you have to see your perspective. Now, just before he closes, okay, yeah, here. just before he closes, I'm gonna make the shrugging motion. Okay. So close it, shrug. There's no, there's no, there's no arm triangle. It's very simple. What happens if I shrug? I don't give him access to the second artery. So you can do this really late. That's why it's called a late defense, because it would be better to prevent uh, the, the arm under the, uh, sorry, the neck under the arm and whatever. But we're late now. Uh, in my case, I'm getting older, I'm getting slower. My young guys, they'll, they'll get there almost. All I, all I do is I shrug the shoulder up, but I relax my neck. Now, if I keep my neck really tight and I put this on, what am I doing? I'm choking myself. Okay? So that's what the important part is. It's like an, a hammer and an anvil and there's like an artery in between. You hammer it, it closes. Take away the anvil, put some mud there, artery doesn't close. Do you understand? So even if something gets onto it, you'll be able to relax into the Move. So one more time, very simple, just before he closes. If he closes, I'm too late. Hey, boom. Now, for the neck, I want you guys, if you keep fully straight and he goes under, it'll hurt your neck. So that's why go slow. So if you turn a little bit into him, then the neck, 80% of the pressure goes off. So your big brother will still be able to submit you. So that's why you're fighting your twin today. He's equally strong, okay? your neck's equally strong as his arms, you, so you don't have to worry. Turn into him, and also, I don't want him knee on belly knee too fast, and huh? like the Hajar Gracie stuff where he can 
put his knee on and put his hip away. I don't want that too soon, so try and get this up. And for you guys, advanced guys, I uh, even reach into him like a tiny bit. Uh -huh. In the beginning, it's not necessary, but later for the escapes, you want to have light hips. So, shrug, prevent worse. Try that. Yes? Three, two, one. Relax, breathe into it, go. You're stressing your neck, that's why I have. So you're choking yourself now by stressing. Mm -hmm. This was already done. Try one more time. Turn into him. Short, 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 short. Yes, that's it. And now relax the neck. Try to relax the neck. Keep breathing. Yeah. Yeah. She's on your chin. It's not nice, I know. Yeah, but you're not tapping. Do you feel the choke or just the neck? Yeah, then it's okay. Mm -hmm. Because the choke, the, the defense is now there. Mm -hmm. The neck, it'll take some, uh, some work how to angle your neck. <laughs> and this takes pressure off your neck. Yeah. If you rely here, you'll hurt the neck. You're pretty flat on your back. Mm -hmm. now, if, if you defend the choke, then you will put a little bit into it, like the more advanced stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll try one more time. So now you've got the neck part down. Yes, go for it, go for it. Yes. Yes, now turn into a little bit, make your hip light. Yeah. Get short, 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 not short. Yes, that's the short. Yeah. Now does your neck hurt? Less. A little bit higher hips. Yeah. Keep breathing. Yes. And now you can start working your regular defenses. Like pushing the arm down, answering the phone. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Okay, guys. So, why does this work? Huh? Two, th uh, two things. First, you don't give the guy access to the order. Huh? And the second, and that's why it's difficult to defeat this as an uh, uh, attacker. Um, like I said, this arm, I can pressure into, I can fight. But for me, if he shrugs, how am I supposed to get this shoulder down? There's no way to put power down because I'll move myself up, look, I can't put it, put it down. So if he closes this angle, for me, it will be really difficult to get the choke. If you're the big brother, you might still be able to submit it on his neck if he doesn't exactly know what's happening. So, uh, so that's the first, uh, first, uh, first part. The second uh, part is uh, another choke uh, when uh, lying uh, here, uh, Yusho. Uh, north south. So, Again, we'll be practicing it uh, for a few minutes before we do the defense. Yeah, just do the basic one. Yeah, just do the basic one. So, now, this one this side. we can uh, do this side. Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so here, I want, I want you, the, the guy on the bottom, to relax into the choke and get choked and tap on the choke. It's very important, again, uh, for him to do the right choke. Okay, so just go here. Put it down on the shoulder. Yep, that's it. Because the here we go. The, the choke here, uh, the most difficult one if he gets a low armpit on your neck. It's the most difficult to defend, I think. So, uh, so we'll be defending this one. So you guys take your training partner and first a few times get used to the choke that you have to tap to the choke or else the defense, you know. It's useless in training it if you don't uh, do it uh, the right attack. Three, two, one. Yeah. 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 Okay, so uh, last thing, what we were doing is we were preventing access, and now what we're preventing is the finishing pressure. Because huh? huh? now he's got access, he's got my neck, first I'll tap, make sure it's right. That's it. Okay, so how do I prevent him from pressuring, making the finishing pressure? It's very simple. I'm making a structure out of my hand. We call this leopard claw. I don't know, I saw the YouTube video once. So it's called a leopard claw. Why this? If something pushes on this, it's not a, it's not a good structure. This is the strongest structure. But the problem with this is I'm not going to get it under his chin. So that's why leopard claw. 
like a way in between. I'll get it under his chin and it gives enough structure to prevent him from pushing down. So what I'm doing is I'm putting this under his chin because he needs the, the, his head to go low for good pressure. Now, pressure down. Okay. Now, what does he has to do? He has to hand fight to get this hand away. Yeah. Now, if he hand fights with this hand, so let's say the first hand he'll fight with, huh? I'll bring the other, the other one under too. Now, he might win one hand fight, but if I've got two hands. Huh? Maybe he takes away the other one. Huh? Yeah. Huh? So, so what we're doing now is we're all the way into the choke. It's going to be difficult to escape. So first thing is don't get submitted. Huh? So this means I'm not allowing him this finishing pressure. I need a structure for that. The structure is leopard claw. So again, huh? he attacks. You're almost done. Huh? This hand's always free. Huh? Now I can't get in my fist. Huh? This is too weak. Huh? He'll, he'll uh, get your chin up. Huh? This, he'll be able to almost like pressure my fingers into my own chest. It'll be difficult for me to keep this as a good structure. Now this, I can keep as a decent structure. Huh? It's on my ribs, by the way. It's also important, my, or my, uh, my structure. So he's lowering his chin. Huh? Oh, relaxing my neck. Yeah, try. Again, if I power into my hand, my neck muscles flex, my arteries lay on top of my muscles and they will get squeezed and your will have to submit. If you relax your neck in this choke, huh, it's much better. Huh? The only choke uh, which you don't want to do that is like a, uh, like a guillotine. Huh? A guillotine you need structure in your neck. Huh? The rest of almost all chokes relax the neck at least the part what he, which he's attacking, because now we have mud, yeah? which means you'll have to put more pressure on instead of less. Doesn't sound logical, I know, but think about it like the anvil and the hammer. Yeah? You don't want the anvil there yeah? to keep the, keep the thing intact. In so, structure under his chin. Yeah, three, two, one. Okay, so um, next part. So we did a shrug, an axis, and we did uh, the finishing pressure. So now I want to show you guys with the more regular uh, back mount chokes what axis actually means. So if somebody's equal size, straighten your back. Huh? Huh? So if somebody's equal size, huh? we're about equal size, look at my elbow. My elbow goes up and it goes under. I'll be able to choke him. Now if I'm smaller, sit on your knees. Huh? Straighten your back. Yes. Now, now, huh? uh, get, you, get a little, you're a little bit here. Right? Yeah, that's it. Now, for me, it's going to be very difficult to get the choke. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. Look at my elbow, it's way up above my shoulder, huh? and it'll be hard for me to get it down and up. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look. Huh? So, what's happening is because his shoulders are higher than me, I don't have direct access to his neck. Huh? So the access part is now actually shoulder height. Yeah. So that's why when you yeah, it takes somebody's back, sit down before I put your foot. Yeah. A lot of times, you know, yeah, my chin is going to be up here. Now I know I can have access to his neck. Yeah. Now, what we're going to do now is very simple. First, he puts his hands together like this. Yeah. No, like uh, on a, almost on my feet or between my feet. Yeah, like this. And first he relaxes his shoulder and he allows me to choke. Very simple. Now, he structures his arms, like your hands, like a gable grip or whatever. Okay. And now he uses that to get his shoulders up. Yeah. Now, as you can see, uh, get your chin a little bit down. Yeah. And as you can, I don't know if you can, guys can see, there's no more access. I can't relax. Access, shoulders up structure, no access. I can't get, even now, if I can get over, there's no, I don't have access to his neck. It's because of the height and, of course, uh, the, the shrug also 
um, makes it like you have, like you uh, put your chin on your chest. A lot of people they say, I don't want to get choked. Put your chin on your chest. What do you do? You break the strongest structure you have, which is your spine. You should be breaking your own strongest structure. So I don't tell people do like this. No, I tell it. Bring it up. There's again. It's almost the same thing, except now my stronger structure is still intact. It's very difficult for me to choke him. So what I want you guys to do now is practice with this just a little bit. Yeah? So first, his shoulders are low. Yeah? This is your twin who doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah? Boom. Yeah? We try to get it. Now he builds his structure here to get his shoulders up. Yeah? Later you'll, have, you'll be able to do it here and get more defenses in, in order, but first I want you to get the structure in order. Boom. And try to choke him. Just try to get under, get him back. Try to get the choke. With just your hands low, which you're never supposed to do, but your shoulders up. Yes? Three, two, one. Yes. Thanks. Now you don't have access and you're defending in the right way. Because it's still, you know, you're still in top position with the hand, you still don't want to give him uh, the whole hill neck, but you have this for your moment. Again. If you try not to put your chin down, you can put your chin down a little bit, but your neck's still straight now, this, this is good. Uh, but as soon as you do, you do this, well, you feel the tension go out of your body, and now it can just control you all the way. Yeah. Yeah? So there's, yeah, this, this is right. This is too high. Get a little, a little up, up, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Look, you're, you see? Yeah, that's it. Now your structure's still strong. Now go for two centimeters. Yeah, look, your structure's broken. You want your structure intact, right? because you're going to do escape. You need structure for escape. Right? Yeah? Okay, so um, uh, again, we come back to the, to the shrug. That's why it's uh, the class called Shrug It Off. Right? Uh, this again is about giving somebody, not giving somebody access. Right? So I don't want the guy to be able to uh, close my arteries. Right? If I put my chin to my chest and still fight with my hands here, I, he's still got access. Right? I don't want him to have access. Right? So I already saw some pretty successful people already starting to slide to the side, moving their head, preventing. Right? Now, Add this right, to your hand fighting, getting the top position with your hands, right, because all the other regular stuff still stands. We just add it to our structure. Right? So it's very important. Don't come into the class like this and say, hey, you can't choke me. Yeah, they can. Right? <laughs> but now it's going to be more difficult so, uh, to do it like this. Now, the, um, the final thing about chokes is triangle. So again, right, what happens here, yeah. A lot of our defenses, what, what do they do? They have to do with um, preventing the, uh, the choke yeah, on this side. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so what I'm doing now, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to shrug, yeah, I'm going to backpedal my arm. Of course, uh, I'll show the, the one here later, but first we'll work with this one. So what happens, yeah, is as soon as he put, throws up his triangle, I'll shrug and I'll reinforce my own structure by pulling this in. Look, my, this goes up. So what happens? This goes up and it goes towards the side of his belly, here. Now, I'll be shrugging with both my shoulders. So, he can, here, if I relax this arm, huh, he'll bring it over, and that's it. Huh? This arm is choking my own, myself, here, this. Now, but if I structure it and get it high, don't get it against your neck. If you relax, huh? if I do like this, I'm choking myself. So I'm doing this, taking it back a little bit. But, but now fighting gravity, fighting his weight, it's not a long fight. Huh? I'll lose this fight. So, to reinforce my own structure, huh? boom. First, I go just below the ribs. I 
strengthen my structure. And now this hand, and that's the most difficult part, needs to go to the side and to the ribs. I use it, I do it by shrugging this shoulder. So look, here, you'll be finding me for it, finding me for it, finding me for it, there it is. Now, as soon as this structure, uh, I will turn for you guys. Here, as soon as this structure is in order, now it's gonna be really difficult to try me. Here, try me. Okay? Why? Okay? Look, this prevents this closing. That's all I'm doing. It's again the biomechanical perspective. I just need to keep this open. This is not strength. I know I look like a big guy, but I'm lazy as hell. I don't want to use too much strength. Okay? I'm using my weight here to prevent this leg going up. If I'm light on this elbow, yeah, I'm done for. So, build my structure, reinforce my structure, and get on to my elbow to prevent him from getting this leg up here. Now, here, I'm shrugging my other shoulder to get him to open. Again, this is a late defense, but you don't want him closed yet. If he's fully closed, don't go that way. It will go the other way later. So one more time. So he throws it up, boom, structure, reinforce my structure, move my structure to the side here. Now I'm pretty safe. Yeah? And now he'll start pulling, pulling my head and neck. I usually put my head on the ground like this. Boom. And now it helps that I'm under kilos, I know. Yeah? But still, yeah, the fight will be longer if you're lighter, but as long as you keep your structure in order, keep your artery open and keep your weight on that elbow, yeah? This muscle, which is working, it's not, it won't get away your weight if you're doing it the right way. Okay? So, but if you get this arm light, you're done. You guys understand? Want to see it again? Try. Go. Three, two, one. Okay, so, um, a lot of times uh, people get good, uh, who are uh, uh, triangles, they do the arm, um, uh, they attack the arm also, and, and we, which we don't mean when they attack the triangle, the arm already goes to my bad side, his good side. So, this happens. Boom, he throws up the triangle, he's got my two and one, here, and now he finishes me. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So there's, I, I, there's also a last minute we can do then, huh? but again, um, it has to do with structure and access. So bear with me. Once he throws this over, huh? what I want to do is I want to grab his knee huh? and I want to put his knee down. And at that time, how do I change him attacking both arteries? Is by turning my own neck during is pulled on. So, so once he throws it up, he starts to finish it, then I go. Don't wait with this, because this is like a close triangle, arm on the wrong side. Huh? You need to do this right away. So he throws it up, he closes it, boom, take his knee, put him down, and look, my neck turns a little bit like this. What happens? My artery is in this space, and there's always space here. Huh? So now he'll be start, he'll be ripping on my neck, uh, trying to finish and uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah. So we're gonna do the escape too for this, because yeah, or else we'll be stuck there for a long time. So again, he, th he throws up a correct triangle. He's got his two on one. Take the neck and put him down here. Put the knee down. Now my weight is on his knee and on my armpit. Why? If his hips go too much up, I'm gonna get turned over. I'm gonna be in trouble. Here. So. My weight's on his armpit and on his knee. Now what I do is I take away his knee, uh, away from his head as far as I can. It stretches his body. So here, here, here. So one more time, he throws up. Boom, here. Rip it down, turn the neck. Put weight on my armpit. Now my hip goes up okay, and walks towards his back. And again, I talked about the structure of your back. As soon as my neck does this, 
All this shit's not going to work. My net is still strong. One of the things with triangles is you'll have, you'll have your coach yelling, posture, 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 <laughs> posture. Yeah. Lego. He does not mean that you have to sit up straight. Posture means your lower back to the top of your head. You want to put a staff in there. This is still posture. This is posture. So it doesn't mean sit up straight. So even if I'm low like this, look, I still got my posture. I still got my posture. I still got my posture. Okay? If he breaks my posture, pulls my head, whatever, look, all, the, all this stuff, forget it. I'm not going to be able to move eh, my bigger brother by just, you know, relaxing the back. So one more time. Okay. He throws up the triangle. Eh, I go with him, pull the knee, and my armpit goes down here. Now, my head's already turned down. I'm looking straight on the ground. Ass goes up. I walk towards his hip. And here, my hip goes down, I start shrugging. Now, it's very nice for me, of him to let it pass. He'll die for my legs or whatever, but at least I'm not tapping uh, to the triangle. You guys got it? Practice. Three, two, one. You need to increase the angle. Yes. Further, a little bit further, like one arm. Yes, now you can do the escape. Walk with your hip and press down. Yes. So if the angle is 90 degrees because you're fighting uh, his good structure. So I need to bring his structure. And now I can try them out. Yeah. And it, uh, everybody knows against good guys, huh? they'll be fighting this arm. Just attack the arm two different ways. Yeah. That's it. That's one. The other way. That's two. And they'll get the finish. Yeah. So now. This usually starts, you can even sometimes put a leg over, or which is the worst, is, is if he controls this one. Yeah, so let's start with this control. So I only have this arm. This always starts with one arm controlling my wrist. Always. Huh? Now, yeah, just do whatever. Huh? Now, what happens is, try, try, uh, try to finish me. <laughs> what I do, what am I doing? Huh? I'm ruining my startup. Yeah, why? <laughs> How? Because. My elbow always points away from his free arm. That's all I do. So he grabs me. Finish. <laughs> yeah. So huh? this works against really uh, decent guys. Huh? There's always somebody who completely gets you, and uh, it's fine too, because huh? this is last last resort. So one more time. So just. Pin him down like you would uh, regularly. Yeah. 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 Here, now he's under, now I'm going to be into tr in trouble. But even then, uh, try to finish. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. Point your elbow away from his free arm. Right? If you do that, yeah. you'll get into a lot less, even more dangerous situations, and that you really have to escape. Yeah? Like, uh, like the uh, key lock or Americana or Kimuras, whatever. Right? If you just point your elbow away from the arm. So, would you guys try for two minutes and then uh, one minute and then we're done. Okay, three, two, one.